Hey, what's up guys? Devin here from The Ignited. Today, I want to show you my top 10 tips and tricks of how you can get the most out of your Roku TV. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's start with uh, tip number one, which is personalizing the home screen. Now, one of my favorite features about Roku TV is how it allows you to customize your TV screen the way that you want it. Now, Roku TV allows you to customize your home screen by rearranging the channels and apps. You can move the channels and apps by selecting the options button on your remote, which is a button with an asterisk or star sign on your remote and then you can drag the channel around to your new location. Now you can remove channels and apps that you do not use by selecting them once again and then pressing the options button on your remote and then selecting remove channel. All right, let's get to tip number two, which is to change the Roku home screen wallpaper and screen server. Now, if you don't like that default purple theme that shifts with your Roku Smart TV or streaming player, there are a variety of home screen wallpapers, screen servers, and sounds to choose from. To change the default home screen wallpaper, you can either choose a theme pack or a wallpaper or a screen server. A theme pack is a unified collection of home screen wallpaper, screen server, and sounds that loop and work together under a common theme. Now you can change your Roku TV's theme pack by going to settings and then select theme and then select theme packs. The variety of theme packs to choose from such as space, jungle, western, romance, kids and more. Alright, if you wish to change only the wallpaper, simply go to settings and then theme and then wallpapers. Now you can browse through all the wallpapers that are available and if you find what you like, simply select get wallpaper. And to choose only the screen server, go to settings and then theme and then screen servers. Now browse through a catalog of screen servers, choose the one that you like and then select get screen server. All right, let's get to tip number three, which is using your phone as a remote. Now, Roku TV has a mobile app that allows you to control your device using your smartphone or tablet. The Roku mobile app allows you to use voice search, view photos and videos on your phone, listen to audio using your headphones connected to your mobile device via private listening. You can also launch channels, control, playback right from the app. The only requirement is that your phone and Roku device must be on the same Wi-Fi network for this to work. I like using my phone as a remote to the Roku TV in those instances where I can't reach out to the physical remote. All right, let's get to tip number four, which is to screen mirror your phone or PC to the Roku TV. Roku TV allows you to mirror your smartphone, tablet, or computer screen to your television. This way, you get to watch your movies, TV shows, or videos on the big screen. To use screen mirroring, simply go to settings, and then system, and then select screen mirroring. You can then choose to enable screen mirroring for all devices or for only specific devices. Now, if you have an iPhone, iPad, or Mac, Roku also supports AirPlay too. So you can share images, videos, and audio directly to your Roku TV from your iOS devices. You can turn on AirPlay by going to settings and then select Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. All right, now let's get to tip number five, which is using private listening. Now, the one thing I really do miss on my Roku TCL Smart TV is the ability to effortlessly connect my Bluetooth headphones to the TV. This allows me to enjoy my favorite TV shows and movies without disturbing my housemates. However, Roku devices don't directly support Bluetooth audio streaming and pairing like Android TVs or Fire Sticks. Instead, you must have a compatible Roku remote that comes with a 3.5mm audio headphone jack or aux port. You then plug your headphones using an aux cable directly into the remote's headphone jack and listen to music or movies playing on the TV. Alternatively, you can use the Roku mobile app. Private listening is supported within the app. Simply pair your headphones with your smartphone via Bluetooth and you're ready to listen to music or movies on your Roku Smart TV. 
All right, let's get to tip number six, which is using a VPN on Roku TV. Now, by default, Roku doesn't support VPN apps, unlike other smart TV platforms such as Android TV or Fire TV OS. With a VPN, you can stream content that ordinarily isn't available in your region thanks to geo restriction policies and licensing. To use a VPN on Roku, you can either install a VPN right on your Wi-Fi router to which your Roku streaming player or TV connects to. This is somewhat complicated, but I did a how-to guide on how to implement this. You can also share your Windows PC VPN connection with your Roku TV, which is a lot easier. Again, watch the guide that I will link on this video on how to do this. All right, let's get to tip number seven, which is to connect the Roku streaming stick to a wired network. If you experience occasional buffering or connectivity issues with your Wi-Fi network, you can always connect your Roku streaming player to a wired Ethernet network. Unfortunately, most Roku streaming players don't have an Ethernet port. So to get the most stable and fast internet connection on your Roku streaming player, you will need a USB to Ethernet adapter. This will enable you connect the Roku streaming stick to an Ethernet cable and then to your router or switch. Now I did a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this and I'll link the guide to this video. All right, once connected, navigate to settings and then network and then set up connection and then select wired. Your Roku streaming player will automatically pick up network settings from your router. All right, now let's get to tip number eight, which is to watch movies and TV shows for free on Roku TV. To watch movies and TV shows for free on Roku TV, you can access some free channels such as Pluto TV, Tubi, Plex, and the Roku channel. They all offer a variety of on-demand content. To find these channels, navigate to the channel store on Roku TV, search and install Pluto TV, Tubi, or the Roku channel. Once you have downloaded the channels, you can start watching movies and TV shows for free. Obviously, the content is ad supported, so be ready to be interrupted by occasional ad breaks. On the Roku home screen, simply go to featured free on the left side menu. You will see a curated list of free TV shows and movies curated from ad sponsored channels that I've talked about. All right, let's get to tip number nine, which is watching live TV on Roku. You can either use a terrestrial antenna if you have a Roku powered smart TV or you can stream online for the code cutters. If you use an antenna, you can watch live TV through free to air channels in your region. To watch live TV by streaming on Roku TV, you can subscribe to a live TV streaming service such as Sling TV, Hulu with Live TV, Fubo TV, Philo or YouTube TV. These services offer live TV channels that you can watch on your Roku device. To access these services, you will need to download the corresponding app from the Roku channel store and sign in with your subscription credentials. But be ready to remit at least $60 per month. You can also access some free live TV channels through Pluto TV and the Roku channel. These offer a variety of live TV channels and on-demand content. Simply visit the live TV tab on the left side menu of your Roku home screen. All right, let's get to tip number 10, which is our final tip here, and it is to create and reset a Roku pin. Now, if you want to prevent unauthorized purchases from your kids or roommates, then setting up a Roku pin is essential. You can set up a four digit pin by visiting the Roku website. Sign into your account and under pin preferences, click on update and then choose require pin to make purchases or to play any content within the Roku channel or both of these options. Once you've set up a pin, you will be required to enter it every time you make a purchase or download apps from the Roku channel store or access restricted content. You can also reset your pin by logging in to your account on the Roku website again and changing it from the same page you used to create one. 
all right guys that concludes our video on my top 10 tips and tricks of how to make the most of your roku smart tv or streaming player if you like this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos like this otherwise thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one